What's going on guys? Uh, I was getting some CGC subs ready and then I got some mail. So I figured I'd cut some of this open, check out what I got. I order a whole lot of stuff, so sometimes I don't even remember. Let's see what I was doing here. All right, got to select Henry Ruggs. Looks like it's a tricolor die cut. Filler in here, but got me a CEH orange select die cut. Nice card. And what's in this one? <clears throat> All right, so this one was packaged well. Two pieces of cardboard with the card, not just a card and bubble mailer. Just a reference point if y'all are gonna ship off cards. There we go. This pickup I'm really happy about. Some blue die cut LaVisca field level. I think I got it at a really good price too. I've been buying him up lately just because I think he's actually a better athlete than Chark is. So I think we're going to see a lot more of him next season. And it's probably not the best way to ship hard but at least tempted to back it with something that's a silver select LaVisca concourse yeah these are actually just sheets of heavy paper so that's probably not the best way to ship that card in an envelope with no bubble wrap if you're gonna do that at least sandwich it between some extra hard cases or something just to give it some rigidity or just put it in a bubble mailer that's the best way to go about it <clears throat> so I've got these I actually bought a few more the other day so I got a LaVisca here I think they shipped two together right here uh, it's probably not the best way to ship them either Sticking two cards in one sleeve. Have to resleeve these. So I feel like there's a lot of people flipping cards, but they're just not doing it the right way. So you don't want to damage these guys, whether they're valuable to you or not. The person buying them thinks they're valuable. I cut Chenault. Like I said, I'm buying him up right now. Because number one, they're cheap. And number two, they got a really good quarterback, a really good running back just picked up along with the running back they already had and these wide receivers are going to get a lot more attention now that they're probably going to be doing a little bit better if not a lot better so I got those had a few local pickups bought these together really happy about that one I think Hertz is going to get his time to shine now. And I'm buying a lot of select because number one, they're, they're underpriced, I feel. Because originally, select was a hobby product. 
and now that it's retail it's getting too easy to buy and flip and these prices are pretty low not to mention I think there's way too much hype on Prism and I think Select is just a better product overall. It looks better, the designs are better. And I think overall, especially now that it's retail, it's more accessible. I think the reason Prism went so high was because people could buy it. So it became popular. And now that Select is in that same level, I'm pretty sure it's gonna come right up there. But if you look at it right now, Optic is actually priced higher than a lot of these Selects are. So it's a good time to buy some of the Select cards you really like. And with that being said, I'm actually gonna open some Select right now. One pack and a hanger. Hopefully I can pull some of these QBs or some more Chenault. Maybe a CD Lamb because I'm a Cowboys fan. So let's start with the pack first. I'll save this box. I don't think I've seen any die cuts in there. Not even sure if you can get die cuts in packs. Let's see, we got a Swift. Nice rookie, got the deck. Hamler, uh, he might be better this year, we'll see. Odell, Gabriel Davis, James Connor. Daryl Taylor, Michael P. Ryan. I think he's going to be better this year. Another DeAndre Swift. Derek Henry. Brett Favre. There we go. Got a CD. And we got a silver. It's Teddy Bridgewater. We'll see how this plays out for him this year. Brandon Ayuk, he's gonna have a good year. And Odell Beckham. So put those to the side. These are the ones I think are sleeveable at least. Let me get them sleeved up. Hard case them there in a minute. Not sure if the die cuts are in all the products or just in the boxes, but pretty sure we're gonna get some in this hanger box. And I think I might start buying a few of him while he's really cheap too, because usually the Jets are a hard team to turn around, but I think this year might be it. That and even through college at the beginning of the year, I was a fan of Zach, so I think he's gonna do good. All right, so let's check out what's in this guy. <clears throat> See if you can pull a burrow. Let's see what all's in here. Looks like we got some silvers. Okay, so it looks like you can get some possible zebras in here. Those are case hits. All right, some golds, blacks, some numbered cards. All right, so let's see if we can hit some of that. All right, I'm already seeing the die cuts in there. <clears throat> what 
that's tough to open. There we go. Alright, Troy Palomalu, Troy Palomalu, Tyler Johnson, I think he's going to be good coming up, J. Brown, Brady, be popular, keep it to the side, Ezekiel, he's letting me down, <clears throat> Jalen Rager, I think he's going to show up this year, Travis Kelsey, Blake Taylor, alright, here's our die cuts, there's something my dad would be a fan of. Joe Montana. That's a nice looking card. Nick Chubb. And all right, we got a rookie, Jerry Judy. Just hoping we get at least one. And the select product is just way more fun to open just because you get stuff like these die cuts. All right, so we got a silver rookie, Antonio Gibson. Take that. Emmett Smith, turbocharged. It's a nice looking card. Alvin Kamara. All right, got the Michael. Ed Reed. Ross Blaylock. <clears throat> J.K. Dobbins. And Antonio Gandy Golden. Not sure if I'm gonna sleeve him up just yet, but JK we will. Alright, so no massive hits. Oh, there was a hidden one back here. We got Patty. Alright, well that made it better. Didn't see them stack together. Alright, so we got Patty. He went to my college, so that's as good as a hit for me. So I'm going to go ahead and sleeve these up. I'm not going to waste y'all's time. Uh, but I really love this select product. Overall, it's more fun to open. I think these cards should be way more valuable than they are. So I will be buying these up. Especially all the rookies that I think are undervalued. And I'm pretty sure as it becomes a staple in retail, it's going to probably even surpass Prism. So as we go, I'm going to be buying this stuff up. So I'll see you guys later.